Right, I am really suspicious of all the corpses in here. What do you think, Preston? No, nothing to say? Good. Keep your fucking mouth shut. Used oil can. Right, well look, at least your guy gave us 99 caps for our trouble, but... This place has already given us a lot of ammo, especially fusion cells. Gas canister as well, and we're getting, I guess, okay junk out of it. I mean, it's nothing really too special, but... I mean, that's kind of the name of the game. Buff out duct tape scissors. I'm not been using the uh, prescribed medication either here. And by that I mean highly illegal drugs like Jet and Buff Out. Although Buff Out probably isn't illegal. Although I guess nothing's illegal because it's like the apocalypse. How do you outlaw things in the apocalypse? Not very easily, I'm willing to bet. Whoa, that's a river. Where did this come from? Who are you? You are a log. Good. As long as it's not a log of shit, I am happy. Uh, why do I always end up traveling at fucking night time? Right, where am I going now? I guess I'm just going to teleport back to Cambridge and hand in this flux capacitor. Although then I'd have to teleport back to Sanctuary just to dump all my junk. I guess I'm going to run back there. I'm not really sure if random encounters can happen kind of this close to home, but I guess we're going to find out. Oh, I never found the building over here, so I'm going to go do that now, actually. Take out my hunting rifle. Creep around in the dark here. Ah, we found some rad stag. Right, sweet. One down, where's the art? Right there. And we are now eating well for a week. Now, in survival mode, hunting down these things was pretty much a necessity for me. Because they give good food. Yeah, uh, of course we have a fucking blowfly. But you know what? This is probably going to be an enclosed little space, so these shotty should serve us best here. Ranger cabin. Alright. Don't remember this place before. That blowfly is just hanging out. And that did not do as much damage as I would have liked. Yeah, there's his fucking friend. That guy didn't miss for once. I half expected to miss and blow something else off. Although at this stage it's a fucking case of we go somewhere, something ends up exploding. Okay, there's glowing fungus on the walls. That is always a good sign. Not a whole lot there. Runaway is holotape. Can I just play that from here? I cannot. Right. That's fine. We will... Go check that shit out. There it is. October twenty second, two thousand seventy seven. I finally told them tonight, and it was bad, real bad. Dad was shouting, telling me I should be ashamed that that I had to get out of the house. Mom just cried, and somehow that hurt worse than anything else. She didn't say a word. Not even when I packed my things. I can't go to John. He doesn't even know yet. Maybe he'll never know. If it weren't for the cabin, I, I wouldn't have a place to sleep. Just need some time to think. Last time I was here, I was just a little girl playing clubhouse in this old cabin. Now I'm really scared. Will anything ever be right again? Judging by the skeleton back there, that is just a ray of fucking sunshine. That's the doggy I shot on my way over there. And normally I wouldn't advocate such things, but when that dog is running at you, 
Is that a safe? No, oh my god, but there is a stim pack somewhere. Huh, sweet. Normally I wouldn't advocate anything like that, but when there's a feral fucking mongrel running at you, you know, you kind of have to take matters into your own hands, and when your own hands are holding whatever kind of weapon I was at the time, you might as well make the most of it. Sure, led them more here to see how effective that fucking turret is, because I have a feeling it's never going to fire a shot. Eh, dog meat. Did I not send you to Red Rocket? I'm pretty sure I fucking did. This obedient little bastard. Oh god, it's Sonya Brahman with fucking shit on. Oh, that's the wrong thing. We need to transfer all of our shitty junk. And somehow we're only down to 168, so if anything, my hoarding is getting worse. Right, I'm not running all the way down to Cambridge. I am just going to fast travel there. And hope it's daylight by the time I fucking get there. Although I will have to go- <laughs> That is some fucking weapon. I mean, holy shit, look at it. Although, after I turn in this flux capacitor wannabe, I'm gonna have to come up back around this area to head to the east or to Greentop Nursery. Who I'm sure will have a great little miss mission for me. And the cool thing about this is that I'm kind of getting to a point where I'm getting out and seeing new things. But the game is, again, proven to be really simple. I mean, I've been down in two ghoul-infested places so far and didn't really have that much trouble in either. But at the same time, I do exercise stealth very, very highly. And generally, I try to get the drop on everything I meet. So I'm not sure if that's kind of half the battle, but I'd imagine it would be. That and some pretty decent gear. Although I am carrying around a fucking arsenal of weapons over here. A gun for every occasion. Hey, Helen. I, sent you for. I did. I also heard your log. Don't worry about it. You'll become cold and motionless in time. Here it is. Good job. Hope it didn't give you any trouble. Here's a little something. I'm always looking for tech. Once you're ready, come find me. Uh, I'm ready now, baby. Affirmative. Great. Here's the area. Be careful. Where is she sending us now? I'm leveling up like hell doing these, actually. That's that completed. I actually got a good bit of caps for that. Semper Invicta is actually completed. Oh, and I leveled up again. Wow. So, I think to follow the Brotherhood quest line after this, she is sending us Rocky Narrows Park. The reflex capacitor this time. Wow, you just need to switch those two names around a little bit, and you actually do end up with the flux capacitor. I wonder if that's what she's building, actually. I mean, that makes sense. I mean, we'd have to find a DeLorean and get it working, but I'd be down for that. And then I stretch a roadway to actually drive that bitch along. But you know what? It'd be, uh, you know, it turned the tide here. Go back to before the bombs fell and actually stop them. Oh, so I make a fuck ton of references and sparing not a talk for the idea that nobody will get them. Because it's all in reference to a pretty fucking famous film. Now if nobody gets them, they need to reevaluate their life. Although now somebody's going to get offended by that because they won't have seen the film because it came out about four years before they were fucking born. Right, so. Rocky Narrows Park. I could just go to the junkyard and run straight over and get that. Not sure what you have to do up there. But, yeah, fuck it. You can't fast travel my enemies are nearby. Oh, good. Uh, I'm just going to retreat back down this road and try to avoid any sort of conflict. 
Because I don't need that in my life. Right, up here should be good enough. And yeah, you know what? It is literally just up the fucking road. So, place the marker there and we'll take a bit of a trek and... Hopefully something interesting will come of this. There it is. I had to do like a fucking 360 there to find the marker. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's ghouls out this gateway, or there was before, so... I see no reason why they would not have respawned. Although it's looking pretty quiet at the moment. And I did loot all these guys. Right, so they didn't respawn. Neither did the mines. Awesome. That lets me just wander on my way with no real complications. Oh my god, I got defeated by a hill. That's awesome. Like, the visuals in this game are pretty fucking bitchin'. Oh, that's the Carvega factory. Somehow or another, I have a damn good feeling the... Whoa! That's a fucking rat scorpion! Shit! Oh, what do I shoot away? Oh, everything. When I find it. Ah! Yep, I fucking knew it. Oh, God. Yeah, this is gonna take a bit of work to kill. Check out the shotty. Where is it? Yeah, of course it's right fucking behind me. No, let's not torso it. Take out its legs, I guess. Ow! Okay. Right, if we cripple it, we don't have that much of a problem anymore. I love how the Brahmin are spectating this. Yeah. You just love blinding... Blind... No, no, nothing goes there. Almost hit the Brahmin that time. Blind siding! Oh, you little bitch. It's a rad scorpion. It's definitely something to fucking worry about. Come on. Right, it appears to have gotten stuck. And all the better. Ah, that's big and nasty. Yeah, the Brahmin just kind of all lined up back here to have a damn good look at that little fight. Don't think I really did myself proud, but you know what? If I'm worried about getting judged by Brahmin, I think my life has taken a definite fucking turn for the worst. Although they were particularly judgmental looking Brahmin. Right, what do we have over here? I'm willing to bet something fucking terrible. I have no idea what that egg shaped thing on the compass is, actually. Is that it right there? That is probably it. Let's take a look. Yeah. Oh, it might be a plant. Some sort of water distillation or some shit like that. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be looking for the Lost Recon team as well. At some stage. There is a reason. Wow, that's a awesome view. What are you? You don't... I guess it is a pile of rubble, but it looks like something dead. That's a pretty great view. Straight down to the dam. I'm supposed to be looking for a recon team. I have a lot of shit to do here. And all of it is pretty much just side quests. Oh, good. Good. That's uh, right there's a fucking Yao Guai. Let's snipe it. In the face. Get my... Although, can I critical hit it from here? Wow, that is a stunted Yao Guai. And it has so much fucking health already. Oh god. Alright, let's see how much health it has after I critical the bitch. Okay, way too much. Wait, ah, no, put away the pistol. Where's it gone? It's a bear. It's up there somewhere. 
Okay, apparently it got shot in the ass and decided to run. No, it's still up there somewhere. God damn it. I feel like it's glitched in a corner. It's just waiting for me to get close. And I am actually just going to flank it. Because I don't want to end up in its face. Danger. Right, where are you? Where is it? There it is. It's just standing there staring at me. Oh, Fallout 4. And still run away. Well, now I just feel like a fucking asshole. Wow, that sounded like a fucking car crashed right outside my house. Now you want to come play it, do you? <laughs> oh my god! That was so easy. Wow, Fallout 4. Just fucking wow. Way to take all the suspense and danger. What the fuck? Out of an encounter that should have been pretty difficult. I just saw that fucking thing. And like panicked and shit. Book off a critical hit. And then. Just. Yeah. You all saw it. That was pretty pathetic. What am I doing here? I am looking for a capacitor of some description, right? Right? Aren't I? Yeah, here we are. Okay. So it is in this area somewhere. <laughs> no, I don't want. Okay, it's in the radiated place, is it? Yeah, it is. Alright. In and out, quick and easy. That is the reflex capacitor. Let's take the rounds, the rounds, the rounds, Maltov. Mine. Ah, oh, shit, are you any good? I, probably, I don't know. I know I'm still being radiated, but I don't think there's anything else in there. And I am pretty fucking happy with my current setup of guns. So... Yeah, fuck you, monkey. Uh, fuck you too, Preston. At least it's not rain, he says. Yeah, you know what? He has a point. <laughs> uh, a shotgun shell well spent. I will take the baseball bat because I want to hit something with that. Although, to be fair, an aluminium bat would make a far more satisfying sound. You ever hit anything with one of those? It's awesome! Makes a great little clink sound. Oh, we have dinner. Still walk around, but we have dinner. Okay, well, look, I'm probably using the wrong weapon for this. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, Preston took down that guy. Nope, okay, go with that. Why was I in danger? It's fucking Radstag. What are they going to do to me? Creep me out with their fucking two heads? No. Wow, they take shotgun shells like professionals. And again, it just sort of decided, yeah, I'm going to wander away. I don't know, maybe it got crippled, but as far as I thought, it had full health. So running up to its face apparently has the same effect as a deer caught in the headlights. Just kind of freezes up. Alright, the other ones are down here. Hey! Don't make me chase you! Okay, it can outrun me. And so can the other one. That's fine. Yeah, you know what? I don't need to hunt them. I really don't. Alright, I guess I will just teleport straight back to Cambridge. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot happening between these two locations. Besides the most fucking easily defeated Yao Guai in history. I mean, it did technically charge me at the end, but only after I'd shot it so many fucking times in the face that I was pretty much worthless at that point. The uh, Miss Nanny Robot just cannot be good. Maybe I should try... What's his face? Codsworth at some stage. I mean, I've seen him in action and he is a beast in combat. 
Well, I mean, Preston is kind of human face to the companions at the moment. 